Welcome to episode nine of Talking Tendy with Wayne the Video Goalie, the daily show where you are always the starting goaltender. Happy Thursday, everybody. I am, I'm super sorry. Like, I haven't been able to figure out my live stream setup yet. So, again, this episode has been pre recorded and I've taken some questions that I've gotten. Um, but hopefully, I will get that live stream set up and working, if not Friday, early next week over the weekend. And so, but I want to know your thoughts. Do you do you prefer live streams and then having me upload? Or do you not mind me pre-recording these episodes uh, on a daily basis? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, so generally, you can participate in the show in a couple different ways. One would be to use hashtag TT along with your question in the chat if it was live. But you can do that in the comments section, and I'll be pulling questions from the comments for the next episode or two which is my personal preference follow me over on instagram at vo goalie send me a dm and include a voice message with your question and i will play them on a future episode so um today's question uh hashtag tt comes from mitchell who left a comment on yesterday's video and that was he is an adult goalie and he can't get the butterfly slide down and I know this is a common problem with lots of people out there who are either learning to play goalie as an adult or have prior experience playing goal like 10, 15, 20 years ago and are getting back in the game now and are having a difficult time adapting to modern techniques. So today let's talk about butterfly slides, butterfly pushes and all the good stuff, right? Now disclaimer, I am not a, I don't consider myself a goalie coach. I do consider myself your goalie BFF, but I do have experience making that transition from an, from a 90s kind of hybrid flopping style game to a more modern butterfly style. And I have lots of thoughts and opinions when it comes to that transition and tips and strategies to help you make that transition as well. And so I think we have to take a step back and really look at uh, the butterfly today in a couple different ways. First, there are early beginner techniques when it comes to the butterfly, and then there are advanced butterfly techniques. And so basic butterfly things are like dropping into the butterfly, right? Driving your knees down, getting a good seal, getting good pad rotation and then uh, recovering back to your skates. That's like a basic butterfly thing. Advanced techniques are more along the lines of going from a stance into a butterfly slide or being on the ice in a butterfly and then butterfly pushing while still down into another butterfly slide to get to another to another location on the ice. And so there, those are the, the two like the two major categories that I would put for new beginners to focus on, right? So the basics. The first thing you want to do is is learn how to drop in the butterfly effectively. And that is difficult if you are if you have muscle memory from being a goaltender previously. And this goes back to uh, old antiquated techniques where we thought maybe back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, when we dropped to our knees, we did not necessarily drive our knees together um, to cover our five hole. We oftentimes relied on our stick placement. And we would, if you were doing a skate save, for example, I don't know if you kids out there know what a skate save is, but it's when you drop to one knee and you kind of did a half moon C cut with your skate to kick out your skate to kick the puck away. Um, that is counterintuitive to the modern butterfly. And so if you grew up doing that and you have that kind of muscle memory, it will be a little bit of a more difficult transition to not have that same motion, right? Because when we think about doing a kick save, we're really dropping onto one knee and extending out our kicking leg. And then as things, as you get into a modern pad, even if you don't, do a skate save, you still kind of have that muscle memory of extending that leg. So what happens is oftentimes you drop to one knee and then you extend your leg and you push out your toe to make like a toe save as far as you can, right? To extend your coverage down low. When in actuality, today's modern game is more about getting into position, dropping to your knees and driving them together to create a solid wall and not having to extend your toe out. 
thereby lifting your knee off the ice and creating a gap below your pad. So when it comes to basic butterfly techniques, if you are a beginner learning to play the position or relearning to play the position, it's about getting into position on your skates and driving your knees down to a solid butterfly. And that would be step one. When it comes to more techniques, advanced techniques like sliding or into a butterfly slide, I would always suggest that once you get the fundamentals of dropping into a solid butterfly first down pat, then I would work on sliding transition from a stance first. That is get into your stance and go through the mechanics of lowering one leg and then pushing off with your other leg that's still engaged on the ice. Because we see on TV a lot of times NHL goalies who are already in a butterfly position static on the ice and they just casually lift up their drive leg push off and they're and they're zipping around sliding left and right right but the mechanics behind that can be difficult to understand especially if you um are not accustomed to doing those motions because like i said like i've said in previous videos the butterfly technique is one of the most uh unnatural motions and movements for us as humans and so we don't necessarily have the the strength, the leg strength. Even though we have strong legs and and you know have good skating ability, we don't have the specific muscle memory or movements down pat to be able to do something like that. That's so unnatural. And so starting from a stance and then dropping to a butterfly slide that way will help you in a couple of different ways. One, it gives you more momentum. It's your skate blades already engaged, but it gives you your body weight momentum as you're going down and across to use that to your advantage. And then as you get more comfortable with that, I would suggest starting uh, from a stance and skating backwards and using the skating motion to then slide into a butterfly, right? Because then again, you're using the momentum that you've already built up to get that motion down pat. And then as you develop those things, then you'll be able to better drop into a butterfly and then plant that drive leg and push off into into a, into a slide. A couple things that I would keep into consideration um, aside and I'm and Mitchell mentioned this in his in his comment, his weight, uh, how much he weighs, and his skate sharpening, the the how he gets his skate cut because he has it I think he I think he said he was over 200 pounds and he has a 5 8 inch cut which is pretty sharp for him depending on your weight and the the sharpness of your skates that can play into effect too um also one thing to keep in mind is how you distribute your body weight and I think you can do things as a beginner to help you um facilitate a slide if you understand how your how to distribute your body weight on your knees. And so it's really difficult because if you are if you watch TV and you see an NHL goalie and they're in their butterfly and then they just kind of like plant a toe and push off, um, <clears throat> it's hard to understand where they are centering their weight to be able to do that. And so if you are if you have all of your weight on the knee that is still down, you're pushing a lot of, you're trying to drive a lot of weight. Um, we always want to kind of lean into the shots, but if you're just starting out, you might not have the technical ability to do something like that. And so you might need to redistribute your weight a little bit more onto your drive skate, on the skate blade that's engaged, just to get you to not have to work so hard to push off. And then as you develop uh, better technique and as you get more practice, you should be able to transition to a more. Um, you should be able to transition to a different weight distribution depending on the given situation. But remember, it's about taking incremental steps to learn these things, and you can't just jump from uh, starting out in goalie to being able to butterfly slide everywhere which way. It's really. Uh, a step-by-step -step process of understanding how to drop into a butterfly, understanding how to get into the butterfly slide from a stance, understanding how to get into a butterfly slide from a skating motion, and then eventually it's that dropping to a butterfly, planting a drive leg, and then pushing off into a slide. Um, and so all of those things in in sequence could potentially help you uh, 
learn the technique and adopt the technique, go back and watch the two videos I have on butterfly uh, pushes and butterfly, basic butterfly techniques, because I go into depth on ice in a lot of those, in those two videos, and I'll link them, um, maybe I'll link them in the corner here so you can go back. Uh, but I, I hope that helps you, Mitchell, and I know that's a problem for uh, an issue that a lot of people are struggling with, how to get into that. And um, maybe if I come up with another way of explaining it, I will, I'll rent a sheet of ice and, and get out there with some newer goalies in the area and see if I can work on that. That's my big plans for the future. But right now we have a question from uh, Instagram and it is from John. So let's roll that right now. Hey, it's John here from Stack the Pads Goaltending. I have a very important question for you. If VH stands for vertical horizontal, and RVH stands for reverse vertical horizontal. Why didn't they just call the RVH HV? Thanks. <laughs> so, John, thanks for your question. I think, uh, you know, I, I, like, I, like, I like questions like this, right? We can have a discussion as to why people, why we name things the things they are. Why do we name things the, why do we name it the butterfly in the first place? Was it that it looked like a butterfly? Um, you know, VH makes sense because it's vertical, horizontal, and it was the it was the first technique that we used. And then naturally, I think because maybe uh, maybe because HV stands for stuff like high voltage and and had other connotations, and it didn't roll off the tongue as as smoothly as RVH, reverse vertical, horizontal. Um, but I mean, I think RVH sounds like a, a cool technique. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think about what the genesis of RVH comes from. I'd be curious to see what, what people's stories are. Um, so right now, let's get to one of my other favorite segments, and that is Goalie Gear of the Day. And today's submission is from Jonathan. Yeah, I like this because, you know, I've been struggling with uh, with my live streams today and yesterday, and sometimes I just don't feel like getting out of bed. I just feel like, you know what, I'm just going to lay here. And so when he sent me this photo, I was like, you know what, it is the perfect feeling for how I feel today, and that is your goalie gear of the day. And so, guys, thank you so much. If I Sorry I didn't get to your question today, but you know what, if you have a question, Use hashtag TT, leave it in the comments below. I'll be taking a look at all of your questions today and seeing what I can pull up for tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for watching, watching my video today. And just remember, goalies, you are totally awesome. Have a great Thursday, guys.